And we're back, and those pilots are in action, taking on an undefeated Norcom Greyhounds team, looking for their first victory in the series in over a decade, and the pilots looking to continue their success as they have this season, Matt. Chris, the last time Norview beat Norcom was 2001 by a count of 21 to 3. Well, you know this game's going to be a lot closer than that. In some of the recent meetings, as early on, it'll be EJ Faison finding Deshaun Brown, who we saw in Cox at practice, one of his go-to targets. And that passing game is clicking in the opening period. And this time it's DJ Johnson with the reception inside the red zone for the Pilots. Yeah, we saw him working on that middle screen, and they used it pretty well there. And on the ground, it's going to be Devin Watford taking it inside and for the touchdown and just like that the pilots with the early advantage. Cool move attack on the extra point and now Norcom having to answer but that defense with Jalen Joe, Deshaun McLaughlin and company really stopping that running game of Charles Wiggs who leads the area in rushing coming into this contest. And now Faison through the air once more finds his receiver and the pilots looking to add to their lead and again the middle screen is open is into the end zone for the score is DJ Johnson and just like that, Norcom has to feel a little stunned right now the way Norview has come out and really taking it to him. A 14-point deficit, the largest Norcom has faced in the first half all year long. They're at home at Joe Langston Stadium, so they got the home fans that will root them on to try to mount a comeback, and they'll do it behind the passing of Jalen Sproul to Robert Farmer, the tight end, who's tough as nails, showing you why on that catch. Nobody's bringing him down on the first hit. Yeah, Farmer able to carry a couple of pilots inside the 25-yard line, and that sets up this. Charles Wiggs on the ground. Cuts it to the right, gets some great downfield blocking, out of bounds inside the five, and Norcom knocking on the door to make this a one-score game again as Spruill will roll out and finds his receiver for the touchdown as that's Malik Odom for the score. Malik Odom, and then the extra point will be good by Zakar White, cutting the deficit in half. It's 14-7 in favor of visiting Norview late in the first half, and the Greyhounds have the football back after a stop. Jalen Spruill with the quarterback keeper showing his electrifying abilities with a 16-yard touchdown run. And just like that, PAT by White is good, and we're deadlocked at 14 all. Well, we didn't think it was going to be a blowout for Norview, and I'm sure they expected a rally, and they got one here. Third quarter now, tied at 14, second half action. As Faison will play action fake, looking over the middle, and he's got a man. It's his receiver, DJ Johnson, once more. And DJ Johnson is lethal in the open field, gets a great downfield block. Cuts across the field and finally taken off his feet inside the five-yard line. Brown helping him out with that block. That's one of the best receiving tandems in all of Hampton Roads. And now when you have to focus on the pass, that opens up the run with Devin Watford, his second touchdown run of the game. And Norview surprising with the lead here as they look to pull off that big upset. And the Norview defense is going to have to make a stop. Unfortunately, they are not going to be able to as streaking down the field all the way as Spruill finds his target. And that's Quamel Sessoms for the touchdown. And just like that, Norcom has a chance to tie it, but unfortunately the extra point is going to be muffed and not being able to get it off, and Norview comes up with a big play here. That could come back to bite him, although that 57-yard strike from Spruill to Sessom certainly helping give Norcom some momentum and confidence as they now try to stop that running game. And so far, it's been the Devin Watford show complimenting that passing game with Faison. Nothing says high school football like a running back with a really dirty jersey as Watford scores for the third time. Now it's 28-20. Still third quarter action. It's still a one score game for the Greyhounds, but they got to make something happen quick as Spruill finds Wiggs in the flat, makes a man miss, goes through a couple of tackles, and it gets some blocking into the end zone for the score, and Norcom has a chance to tie with a completed two point conversion. Great extra effort by both of the backs in this one, Wiggs and Wofford. So here we go, the two point conversion that could tie it, and it's Deshaun McLaughlin coming unblocked for the stop. And that will allow Norview to go on the road and get the significant upset win, their first over the Greyhounds in 13 years. Big win for Norview as they take this one 28 to 26. Faison, 15 of 19, 213 yards and a touchdown passing for the Pilots. And the loss for Norcom Sproul, 9 of 15, three touchdowns through the air.